So, college applications are around the corner yet again, and you, you think that if you're gonna make a video about the school that you go to, you might as well wear a hat for that school, not a hat for your second choice, right? So, college applications are right around the corner yet again, or maybe you've already jumped into things and gone early action or early decision. I've made a few NYU videos over the years, and I've gotten a lot of questions about NYU CAS versus NYU Tannen for computer science, and today I wanted to tackle some of those questions. Speaking of why I might be qualified to do that, hey everybody, my name is Mark. I'm currently a senior studying at NYU CAS. I'm graduating in the fall of 2021 with a double major in computer science and language in mind, and a minor in game design. Today, I'm gonna go over the differences between NYU CAS and NYU Tandon, specifically in terms of computer science, and most of this is from my experience and what I've heard from others that I know at Tandon. For any links that I might mention or information I might refer to, you can pretty much find it all on NYU's website. If you just look up NYU CAS thing or NYU Tandon thing, you'll probably find it. That being said, I love comments, but I won't be responding to comments that ask questions that you can simply look up, i.e. what classes can I take at NYU Tandon, or questions that ask things that I've already talked about and answered in this video. Anyway, we will start off with the main selling points of NYU CIS, then the main selling points of NYU Tandon. Then I will go into my computer science experience at NYU CIS and talk about the experience of others at NYU Tandon and what I kind of imagine that life to be like. Lastly, while I don't have too much information about this, I got some feedback on what changing schools is like and why people did. Then I will end up by going off with what might be better for you, computer science at CIS or computer science at Tandon. And again, that's from my view, I'm no admissions person. Speaking of that, I want to make a quick disclaimer about some things. I am not someone who works in the admissions department. I have never worked in any admissions department. I am not an employer of any kind. I am simply a student who thinks he knows what he's talking about. I know how confusing NYU can be, both in the application process and just going throughout those first few years. And so I'm hoping that this video helps clear those things up. Please don't ask me to review applications or anything really specific. You know what is best for you. Next, I study at CAS. I'll go over what the differences are in just a minute. That's the whole point of the video. That being said, the stuff I talk about with Tandon is what I imagine life is like and what I have heard from other people. For the campus stuff, we're gonna pretend that COVID just doesn't exist. The people I've spoken to and from my own experiences, being in person is the only really way to talk about it is what it was like pre-COVID. And lastly, I'm not some NYU ambassador or whatever. Again, I'm simply a student who thinks he knows what he's talking about. Anywho, thanks for dropping by. Let's get into it. So you've clicked on this video. You don't really want to know the nitty gritty. Here is the short and sweet answer. If you are a student looking for a more intense engineering degree, then you're probably gonna want to be looking at NYU Tandon. If you're a student looking for a less serious computer science degree and having a range of classes in a liberal arts setting, CAS is what you're gonna wanna be thinking about. Remember, I'm about to get into information that I think is helpful and a recap from my point of view as a student who's been there for five semesters now. Then again, I only spent three semesters in New York City and then Paris and remote and remote again. So what is NYU CAS? CAS stands for College of Arts and Sciences. It is NYU's liberal arts school, and it's the school I'm at. What that really means is that there's no specific focus for NYU. Some colleges are generally liberal arts schools. NYU has many different sub-schools, and CAS is the big liberal arts one. What's liberal arts mean? Well, long story short, you can study anything from physics to mathematics to psychology to linguistics to comparative literature to art history. And there's so many options at CAS. The main reason I'm at CAS is because I am double majoring in computer science and language of mind. It was originally psychology, but they don't have language of mind at Tandon. And doing majors across schools is logistically impossible. Not that I'd really want the engineering focused computer science degree. Another thing to note is that CAS requires core classes and that's core in all caps. What that means is regardless of your major, you have to take classes in a variety of disciplines. Personally, I've enjoyed all of mine, but those have ranged from the text and ideas core, which I took autobiographies of the cell, taught by a comparative literature professor and we've read a bunch of autobiographies, to cultures in context. I took the indigenous Australia section and that was taught by an anthropology professor. The students in these classes come from all disciplines and if you're curious to know more you can look up NYU CAS cultures and context core selection or text and ideas core selection and you can see all the subtopics that go in those core classes. I also made a video a few months back about a week in the life and I talk a little bit about cultures and context and all the subtopics. Next up is location. CAS is located in Manhattan and is pretty much right around Washington Square Park. When I went from my dorm to my classes for example I would almost always cross through Washington Square Park. Sure, the city is your campus, but that's the main thing students talk about, and that's a really busy part of Manhattan. As I'll get into in the Tandon section, CAS allows you to live in this space, while Tandon does not. 
So, brief oversimplification of CAS out of the way, what is computer science at CAS like? I'm putting links in the description down below, of course, and I also have a few videos of like days in the life of this from a little while ago when I was in person. But all in all, to complete the computer science major, which I'll be done with this semester, I have one more class left, you need seven core requirements and then you need five electives. And therefore you have a total of 12 classes you need to take. The core seven classes are going to be the same for everybody in the computer science major and the five electives will differ a little bit. Also, this is the non-honors track I'm talking about. Honors requirements a few more core requirements. For example, and I've made videos on these if you want to check those out, everyone in the core requirements will be taking operating systems and discrete mathematics. No choice. However, for the electives, I took computer graphics and linear algebra even counted for an elective. Other people might take classes like computer vision or algorithmic problem solving, which are classes I'm not taking. The classes aren't too difficult from what I understand, and the fact that the highest required math is discrete mathematics and calculus one is something we'll jump into later in the video. Now, to mirror the CAS section we just wrapped up, Tandon is NYU's engineering school. Majors range from physics and mathematics to mechanical engineering to sustainable urban environments. The degree offerings are clearly more STEM oriented and there are not nearly as many as CAS offers. You might be able to double major while at Tandon, but from my understanding, the degree tracks are a bit less flexible. Anyway, Tandon also has some general education requirements, but they're not the same core classes that CAS requires. There's a writing requirement, which everyone at NYU has to take. It's called writing the essay. You will definitely hear about it. And you also have to take some social science electives. What those are like, I have no idea. I don't study at Tandon, like I said, but from my understanding, they're much less concrete than the CAS core classes. In other words, you won't have to take some subtopic of text and ideas, but some social science elective that's offered. Again, you can just look up NYU Tandon social science electives if you want to know more options for those electives. Next thing is where Tandon is, and it's important to note that it is in Brooklyn. If you're someone who enjoys taking the subway just whenever and you're not too introverted, then sure, visit Washington Square Park whenever you want. But your main primary campus is going to be significantly smaller. For example, when I took game design in the fall of 2019, it was in the NYU Game Center, which is a Tisch Minor, but it's right next to NYU Tandon's main building. I rode the subway probably about 20 to 30 minutes there, depending on how busy it was on Mondays and Fridays, and I did that to get to class. As far as I know, all Tandon classes take place in that same building, so you might not need to travel to Washington Square Park, for example. So unless you're taking classes outside of Tandon, you won't find yourself mandated to go to Washington Square Park, and I know for me, that would mean I would visit very, very rarely, just because of who I am. Personally, I love the Brooklyn environment. Environment. I always tell people if I were to live in New York City, I would choose Brooklyn over Manhattan. After my game design recitation on Fridays, I would go out of the archery range and shoot for about an hour, and the 15, 20 minute walk it took to get there was super nice. Definitely much more peaceful than Manhattan. Anyway, the brief oversimplification of Tandon out of the way, what does their computer science program look like? Well, again, pulling directly off of their website, it's much more fixed than CAS's. I will have finished my CAS degree in three years due to completing prerequisites and double counting, but for Tandon, it doesn't appear there's that much flexibility. Just looking at the website, it looks like you have to get specific requirements out of the way in your first two years. And then it has a little agenda for all four years, whereas CAS's requirements is just a little list that says, take these seven and whatever five you want. Again, I don't know much about it, so feel free to do some Googling and check out the NYU link resources in the description down below. But yeah, all in all, the Tandem major has a little agenda for you. CAS is literally just a list. So real quick, my experience in CAS and what I've heard about experiences in Tandem. Personally, I've loved my experience at CAS and I've heard from other people at Tandem. A good friend of mine from high school also went to NYU you, he's at Tandon, and last we talked, he was enjoying it a lot. But he wasn't doing computer science, he was doing uh, media, music, and business, or something like that. Personally, I like math, but I'm not too big on math-heavy classes, and I love humanities courses. So much so, in fact, I'm doing a double major. I would definitely not be as content as I am now without these humanity courses to keep me sane. Also, I could take classes in whatever order I wanted. I would not recommend taking all of your core classes your last semesters and, you know, completing your majors as soon as possible, but you could. I just tend to balance it out. Slight digression the core classes are not easier by any means, so don't think they're just an easy general ed requirement to get out of the way. If I didn't have a second major and a minor, I could probably graduate this semester a whole year early, but instead I'm doing an extra semester, I'm still getting out of semester early, and CAS is what offers me the flexibility to do just that. My minor is in Tisch, but all in all, that's another story. Just know that you can take classes from other NYU schools, i.e. a computer science course at Tandon, while you're majoring in computer science at CAS, but there are certain limitations you should talk to your advisor about. So on the note, of changing schools, I asked some other students on the NYU CS Discord about Tandon and got some fascinating responses. Please note, these are from like two or three people who switched from Tandon to CIS. Uh, anyway, the screenshots are on screen now, but it seems like the big thing was the environment, both Washington Square Park versus Brooklyn being a more lively place to be in, and also you might find yourself around other types of people from various disciplines. Ketzel, do you want to be in the video? Be in the video, Ketzel. Join me for the commodity of the human race. Ugh, 
all right, I have a cat now. Um, from my understanding, what you want to do is you'd want to talk to your advisor about things. Switching schools isn't logistically difficult from what they've said. However, I would imagine, and this isn't really based on anything, that it would be harder to go from CAS to Tandon versus Tandon to CAS. But again, that's bias, so take that with a grain of salt. So, which one should you apply to? Or should you stay where you are? NYU CAS or NYU Tandon? Just so we have cat cam, I'm moving out a little bit. But Tannen is definitely the more rigorous and intense mechanical engineering focused school. Tannen offers a BS, a Bachelor's of Science, and CAS offers a BA, a Bachelor of Arts. I know this is like the fourth time I've said this, but the easiest way to think about it is simply this. CAS computer science is less math heavy, you have a bit more flexible schedule, and things are less intense. Tannen, as it is an engineering school, is more math and engineering focused and definitely more intense when it comes to computer science. For example, in CAS, you only need calculus Calculus 1 and discrete math as your math requirements for the computer science major, while in Tandon you'll be finishing up Calc 2 for engineers by the time your first year is over. If you're someone who wants to focus on engineering classes, I would definitely think of NYU Tandon as a first go-to. If you're someone who wants to take more broad and general liberal arts classes and have a bit of a less intense time, not less difficult per se, but just less intense time, then CAS might be a better option for you. For those of you who are largely impacted by environment, if you're someone who likes a more lively environment and wants to be around the New York city you always see in TV shows and all of the hustle and bustle lifestyle, then Washington Square Park, where CAS is pretty much centered around, is probably the better option for you there. You know, you can still go there while you're in Tandon, but that's kind of the general gist of it. You getting off, Kipsel? All right, cat be gone. If you enjoy being around people from multiple different disciplines, for example, my first year text and ideas class, I made a few friends and I met someone who had changed their major from mathematics to comparative literature their second year. Big moves, but they found what was right for them in the broader sense of what was offered at CIS. Plus, I surprisingly enjoyed a class all about autobiography. So if that kind of exploration is for you, then CIS might be a better option. On the other hand, if you wouldn't mind taking the environment to Washington Square Park and you're more of a fan of a smaller campus and quieter environment, look at NYU Tandem. If you want to be surrounded by engineering kids in that kind of space and, dare I say, have much better support when it comes to making connections outside of NYU, NYU Tandon would be where you want to look. All in all, I'm biased, but that's largely because I love taking linguistics classes, philosophy classes, and psychology classes. If I didn't get off the waitlist for my CS course this semester, I was going to get into Russian literature and I was looking forward to that. Oddly more than I thought I would be. If you have zero interest in that and want an intense, rigorous, mechanically focused, engineering focused time, Tandon would be the better option for computer science. Those are the two big differences that I've tried to point out to you in this video, intensity of study and the living environment. Those are just the significant differences in my mind. It's not to say that CAS is easy, it's just less intense. All in all, Tandon is the engineering school and CAS is the liberal arts school. You can find links to the major requirements in the description down below yet again, and of course, you can Google everything. I hope I've done a good job at explaining these things. This is just what I have come to understand over the past two and a half years. Things are super confusing sometimes at NYU, and I spent a lot of time figuring them out, so I'm happy to share this wisdom, and I hope it doesn't just make things more confusing. This video might be more obsolete since we're not in person, but the online vibes aren't bad either. Just make sure you join a Discord or a Facebook group or something so that you can feel at least somewhat involved with friends. I have made a bunch of friends on the NYU CS Discord, and if I hadn't clicked that link that someone sent in operating systems at the start of the semester, I would definitely feel so disconnected, but having the online culture can still exist. But all in all, I just hope this information is helpful for you. Thanks for dropping by. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe before leaving, and of course, drop a comment with what you think. Has this helped inform your decision? Are you a Tandon or CS? student and you're thinking of something that I've totally forgotten to mention. I'd love to hear it down below. But without further ado, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week.